trouble issue. We're going to add stabilizers to this from Yak Gear. So, we have a box with yaks on it. So, here's the arms. I'm going to have I'm going to drill holes in my new kayak today. I know. Now, I already looked at this. And as you can tell, I have already put a label on it. Pretty cool, huh? Terrible at fishing decals. So, these, uh, these are the floats. They're blow molded. A lot different from their old version. This is version 2. The old version looked like they had uh, crab floats on them, which is what they had, which was crab floats. So, anyway, that's what it's going to look like, kind of. Now, they do have a nice instructional video online, Amazon store and at Gap Gear. Phillips screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, dun, dun, dun. and I need a 3 8 inch drill bit. So, a 3 8 inch, and my handy dandy. Big old thing. It says three eighths. What are you doing when you do things? Measure twice, cut once. So, where's that instruction manual? There it is. Here, instruction manual. Um, Outrigger hardware. Use it. Drill to tighten screws only to drill holes. Okay. Where to mount? I'm going to mount it in the back. Use an 1132. Or three eighths inch drill bit. All right, this is the right one. Now, the nice thing about these guys is they give you weld nuts. Yeah, there's a joke in there somewhere. But this is a weld nut. Put this through the hole, and when you tighten the screw, it mushrooms it on the other end. So, yep, perfect. Just double checking, triple checking. All right, so. Sorry about the airplane. Make sure that 
We'll wait for the planes to go over. We have a, I think a National Guard or something like that here at the airport. gone. All right, so we're going to mark only one spot when I drill. And then I'm going to attach it and line it up to where it is parallel to my kayak. So uh, this is what we're going to do. Let's just mark one spot right there. This is where it gets scary because I'm going to drill a hole in my brand new kayak. Alright. It is now a religious kayak because it's holy. Get it? Got it. Alright, so old screwdriver. Voila. What do I do with those walnuts? You guys tell me where I do with the walnut. Oh, there they are. Right where they should be. Okay. Then we put a walnut in the hole. Should fit perfectly. Almost perfectly. little bit. There it goes. Well not in there. And then we take our star drive. We put the little locking thing on the outside. Let's start it by hand. Don't push down too hard because I'm going to push the well nut in there. You're going to just put this in there like that. So, we didn't really tighten it down yet. So now we want to we need to put these in. Okay, so in order to adjust it from over on this side, we want to put the uh, adjusting knobs on that side so I can reach around and grab them. So that's what we want to do. Got to think. Think ahead. Uh, and then this. We're going to do this. Doing something wrong. Alright, that. Alright. Time to come partially sub. You and me, okay? Blah, 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 blah. Two, blah, 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 blah. Okay. 
using a little soft soap on the small pan head screws, attach the star port HDs to your float cross threading. Tons of drill holes. I got little black screws to hold those in. Dump all that out in the chair. You guys remember, I... it's in the chair. Oh. Should I drill a pilot hole? I should drill a pilot hole. I'll tell you that in the instructions. Oh. It'll drill the pilot hole. Just to start us off into that. So, you wonder why I'm doing this? Well, the reason I'm doing it, because I'm wobbly. So, with stabilizers on, I won't fall out of my kayak. Kayak won't fall over, tip over, which has a lot of equipment in it. You don't want to lose it. I mean, you got to bungee it all down anyway, but I plan on doing some river trips here through white water. Just class one, class two stuff. Nothing big, nothing too adventurous. All right, so now this goes. Push on the lock like this. Like that. This. Like that. Make sure it's all lined up. 
Turn that a little bit. Tough not breathing. I ain't done hardly nothing. I know. Partially because of COVID. Double check. There's a twice. We're going to do the same thing to the other side.
solid. Now, what I did notice is that it's just a little up on this end and down on this end. So, I'm going to re remove these and try to twist this just enough to move to adjust that out. So, let's see what I can do here. the front is down we need to pull that up Looks good. Looks like my holes still line up. Just a tad bit of play in it. Just a tad though. Do this last if you do yours. Star dress really do hold. Lock, unlock. Right? Right. Oh no, that's unlocked. Ha. Okay, so 
I think at first, there and then there. A lot of people cut these. No reason to cut them. Only you can do them like this. So that. wants to point down. So if I want to do it that way, huh. you try it the other way first. Try it this way first. And uh, see how it works. This gives you more stability. So, this gives you more stability. Side. <sighs> and I look better bigger in the end. All right. crazy. I had to do with the uh, screwdriver. There it is. Alright. Do not put a lot of pressure and let it mushroom on the other side. Yes, I did. 
Alright. Do not put the set screws in here just yet. These on that side. Probably doesn't make a difference, you know, if you think about it, but because you can just flip it. But we're gonna do it this way. Alright. pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe get a little bit more. Let's mark our dot. this over. Back is killing me. It's because I'm fat. I'm starting to get something else too. I mean, six years since I felt healthy. Six long years. It's a long time to not feel healthy. down to where they were flush at first before you tighten them gives a 
Just a little bit of play. And then you can mushroom the uh, well mat. Yeah, you have to use a screw gun, probably because they don't think people know what the torque setting is really for. But I do, but I obeyed. I do suggest you watch the video. If you buy one of these. Or even if you don't, you can try to build your own. Which a lot of people do. I was going to do it. Alright, there we go. Ah. I need that in a sec. looks pretty good. Looks like I can put those screws in there. Huh. Did it right the first time, I guess. Okay. Huh. Try that hole. Ah, the screws are over there. See why I need it's just getting up is hard. It takes a lot of energy. You think like you're a wolf. And you're right. I have turned into a wuss. God gave us two wounds. There's a reason. He's all knowing. Pilot. That's solid plastic. That's not hollow on the, the arm, which is comforting because it means it's stronger. Alright. To the other side. Breathe heavy, don't I? I'm a business partner many years ago. Tell me I was a loud breather, I had no idea. And then I go, nah. I guess my lungs started going bad about then. Many, many years later, and diseases hit it.
All right. So, let's see. Still recording. Good. So, that is it. Now, the nice thing about these, you can put them up. That's why I put that on that side. So, now, it's off the water. If I find that it is impeding my paddling, I could just lift them. And then, when they get down to the water, from my fishing spot, then I can just lower it down into the water. Like that. And then, ah, there you go. That's that. Now, besides better balance and stability, what you can do with that is raise your seat so I can get out of the kayak better and I can put my drawer back underneath my seat. And that's what I can do. That's what I'm going to do. So, thank you guys. That Yak Gear version 2 stabilizers.